Like, you Let's know, talk the, about the, NFT. The jet, yeah, NFTs. My favorite new topic. I'm so obsessed too. I'm spending a ton of time on this. In so, my own brain. So for people that don't know what NFTs are, right? Non-fungible tokens. Uh, these are one of the great parts about the uh, the whole in, uh, crypto blockchain. space, the blockchain space. Satoshi's white paper is that it was the first digital signature that you couldn't counterfeit. So think about what that means. You can make digital art that no one can counterfeit. And so all of a sudden art gets its value uh, from scarcity. And so the blockchain allows you to do that. So now we're gonna see artists for the first time ever create art digitally, right? The great artists, they never did before. Uh, so you're gonna sell digital art, you're gonna actually take your phone, you're gonna buy it, it's gonna go down your phone, you're gonna walk home and you're gonna throw it up on a giant screen and you're like, that's mine. No one else owns that thing, that's mine. And Dude, so we're gonna have collectibles, they're gonna create new collectibles, 100%. right? There's gonna be, instead of baseball cards that well, are- Well, there's NBA Top Shop, they're so rare. Top it's Shop's blowing already. up all yeah. of a sudden. I'm looking at it every uh, day. And so then there'll be fractional things that get sold. Well, that's what's happening. The fractionalization of physical things is a game changer. The reason Michael Jordan's rookie card is going to a million dollars. Because you can sell 100. Correct. Yes. Because Kenny and, and Stefan actually want it. I know, they do. But they're not dropping 350,000 on a single sports card. Not I yet. Know. Not yet. Not yet. And I, know, and I know them. But would they drop 350 bucks if they knew it was going to a million? That's no different than buying a little Tesla and Apple stock. The fractionalization of sports cards is going to get that market insane. On the tippy tippy top. Keep I them. think people need to know how to showcase them the, yeah. the missing piece, we're in it, just for the record, because I want to clip this one day and say, you know how I like to do my content. Yeah. In nine years, I'll clip this and be like, see, told you. You're 100% right, in, in one other man's humble opinion. Why, why Artworks is high net worth individuals buy a piece of art, and whether they put it in a Moroccan you know, warehouse, or whether they put it in their Upper West Side uh, apartment, or whether they have a show, that they donated to something, they're able to, you know. Display it. Display it. They're, they're, they're gonna the, be really cool. And the reason cool. sports cards are is because you take a selfie and put it on Instagram. We love to flex. I'm waiting to understand the flex of of the NFT and as soon as I understand it. It's coming. Oh, I'm the least confused of all time. I'm curious what it's gonna be. Yeah. I wanna invest in it because it's gonna be the sh shovels and picks of that world. We, we have a, we have a, uh, uh, Galaxy Interactive Fund uh, that's invested in 40. That's the name of it? Galaxy Interactive. What are you, a, like, what are you, a Star know, Trek we're all nerd? about the I Galaxy. Mean, the is that? Star, we're more Star Wars people Me than too. Star Trek Me people. Too. I see the Boba Fett. Big shout out to that. <laughs> Greedo is underrated. And, but we invest in 40 companies in the gaming space, video, yep. new worlds. Yep. Uh, in probably a third of them, they're already playing with these things. We are no question. Blockchain. Blockchain. Blockchain's underrated. It's going to have its day. It's starting to show in 15 years. The interesting thing is you won't notice it. It'll be the back of the fucking TV. Yeah. But it's going to change the world in a really positive way. I agree. Uh, Reddit. Reddit. Well, I'm learning about Reddit real fast. Uh, like, all, you know, Reddit, all these forums, I think, are complicated. Uh, you know, they're... I'll give it underrated because it's having a huge impact on the world and it's gonna probably have a bigger impact, but they're complicated in terms of how do you edit through to get to yeah, the- Yeah, but I think one thing that people are missing is that these forums, whether it's 4chan, Reddit, or a Facebook group, Discord, it's just the internet. Yeah, These you're are just right. platforms on top of it. Fair point. You will not stop people from congregating on the internet unless you regulate the internet. You can block Parler all you want. You can block Reddit. This is why the point I made They all earlier, go to signal, <laughs> you know, there's, there's somewhere to go. But, but the question is, but governments can stop it. And I think people don't, that's where it gets- I don't think they will. I think there, well, there, is, a, there is an that's, ethos that, in our country that, that runs through of freedom well, listen, and- Well, listen. Like, we're not China. Right now, we have both sides. You had AOC and Donald Trump Jr. and Ted Cruz, even though they then fought each other a little more, agreeing on something. Let, no, no, <laughs> in a big way. No, no, I really need everybody, listen really agreeing, and I think that's an important insight to everybody. A politician in America is playing defense 24-7, 365, right? They, have, they are constantly decision-making strictly on the behavior of winning an election yeah. that's in front of them. Pure and utter defense. And even the smartest fuckers I know I've been able to destroy because I'm playing offense and they're playing defense. And that's the problem. That's a good way to end. I gotta go. All right. I love you, Nova. <laughs>